will look at the Auburn situation and how it relates to Georgia. Of course, they'll have their annual matchup coming up in November where we thought Auburn was really, really good, and maybe they still will be. But they blow a lead to LSU, and LSU doesn't implode. So they show us some character there. And coming back with all the adversity they had, you would think that they would pack it in after trailing 20 to nothing, as you mentioned. Georgia's the clear team in the East. They play Auburn. If Auburn's not as good as we thought they were, and let's say Georgia rolls over them, or just as long as they win, we could have an SEC championship game with two undefeated teams. That's not uh, that much out of the realm of possibility because these two teams are starting to establish themselves, of course, Alabama, certainly, as the best teams. And then we have an SEC championship game. If Georgia gets crushed by Alabama, they probably knock themselves out of the playoff but we could be setting ourselves up for a dilemma nationally with two teams from the SEC possibly vying for a spot if Georgia looks impressive but still loses against Alabama. It's not a murderer's row, but let's not kid ourselves. Coming up for Georgia is the the neutral site game against Florida. They're better than Florida, but you know how much emotion and energy goes into that game. That'll be followed with a weird November game against South Carolina. Georgia's better than South Carolina. They get them in Athens. And then you're going to have Auburn. That's three straight weeks. Again, it's not a murderer's row. They got to go to Auburn. They Auburn, uh, Georgia got them in Athens last year. Auburn now gets them on the plains. I, I don't see. We'll see what happens. Georgia's the better th- better team in all three of those games. But you go three straight weeks like that, and again, the emotions of the Florida game. South Carolina, Georgia will be emotional. Kirby Smart, Will Muschamp. That's always a rivalry game. A lot of kids from South Car- from the state of Georgia come play in South Carolina. That will be an emotional one. And then you're going to go with Auburn. Uh, and then I think they get a, an FCS opponent. But then you're going to follow it up with a Georgia Tech team that's two points away from being undefeated. That's four of the next five games for the Georgia Bulldogs that are going to be difficult. I would be surprised if they don't drop one. You got true freshman and Jacob from or Jake uh, from. You got Jacob Eason in there somewhere. It just seems like to me they're going to lose a game. We just talked about how tough it is to go undefeated. Four out of those five games. They can lose one. They're the better team in all of them, but I think they'll drop one somewhere. Georgia Tech could easily be undefeated. Somebody else you mentioned at the top of the SEC segment, Kentucky could be undefeated right oh. now. They're not. They could be 6-0 and right now. 